Remember, this is just fan fiction, it's imaginary, please watch it on risk. Some of pictures used in this video is not mine credit, goes to the right owner, no copyright intended, only on this editing, storyline, and voiceover. Please don't copy my work. English is not my first language, so... Sorry, I don't speak English very well. Thank you. What took you so long? Say it a little loud. Steps can hear him from the kitchen. I'm coming. Let me sell her work station. Hold on to cups, so the fuzzy chocolates to the trip and me because of the cold weather. There you go. Give him one cup. We can say it when it goes beside him. Thank you. Say or cough and her with one fake blanket that they share when they decided to watch movie together. She make herself comfortable and lean her head on his chest. Sleeping the high sweet train slowly. This is still high, but it gets warm at the bottom. Then. That is what is high, and for it is just too funny. And when they concentrating and watching the movie, yes, the actual warmth was from the bottom. Then. Another chocolate. Next morning. She woke up before him. Then she had minutes to go. But didn't move at all. Stay in her position. Which is staring at her husband, who sleeps so peacefully, with a little pulled her lips and his cheeks pressed against her pillow. Show the religious place when pillow her. He whispers so low, referring to the news to look behind him. She didn't plan it all the way to sleep with Anya. But she knows the day is the day of. And he came late last night, but he still accompanied her to watch a movie together as he promised. He won't stay like this longer. But suddenly she heard some noises from downstairs, making her confused. The stage slips together, and there's no one in the house to fed them. And she just had to check it herself without bothering to wake her husband because she knows it wouldn't be some bad people. It's either her older sister, her husband's older brother, or one of their parents because they know their house best work and sometimes can without bothering to inform them or without even asking if they're at home. Because their houses are not that far from here. And sometimes they just come without any burden or reason. It's like his older brother was then. He came just to take his little brother's dog. Early morning, he bet again if he can find his blood when he woke up. But then, because he was very panicked to get down, he was about to call the police. But when he opened his phone, he found his brother texting, found him to stay on his way home. He became relieved, but met at his brother 
He didn't try to wake him up. Instead, the dad defied his brother come to kill them. And she just looking at the cute dripping speaker in where hide her old feels. She patted her husband's forehead and headed downstairs to check the ground this time. She opened his eyes and looked around the room. He bowed and he found his wife was not in the room. How dare she leave me here alone? She said, ah, and sang in an island. I'll teach you a lesson, Lizzie. Just wait. Say that aggressively up in the blanket. He walks downstairs. Still shirtless, his eyes half open, but they minded to find his wife. Jump straight to the kitchen, knowing she'll be there to make breakfast. Yelled, making her start it, and look at him with wide eyes. What? Stuck speaking. They come right in front of her. They stood just a few inches away from each other's faces, making her back all of her old ways to stop her from moving. Her eyes widened even more. How dare you leave me alone, Dad? She told in her freshness. Try to push him. I push her and stay until her back hit the counter and whispers. What did you say? We feel no way. You need a good punishment after committing to sin. Why you left me in the morning and to come here more close to her. You forced me first last night, and usually we'll spend the night together until the morning if the next is my day off. Close your eyes tight and her bottom. No. Now face the consequences. She was about to speak again as he got. And he lifted her up and made her sit on the counter. Stop as he hurts the prey on hers. She tried to pray the fish can. And stayed after a few seconds she was about to lay her down on the counter without breaking. She stopped after hearing someone clear the throat. She measurably pushed him, making him stumble and about to fall backwards. And then she ran upstairs to bear bone, just looking back at her red tomato cheeks. His eyes widened. He first looked his white sparing figure. Then look at his face, at his own parents standing there, with their arms closed. Mom, is dead. Since when you guys are here, he asks her cheeks and ears turn red and embarrassment. 
far you even wake up you say we are changing expression uh, uh oh why did not the shoe guys for fake love at the end maybe because you are too focused on your life divide the eyes small marks was at the hand making him even more nervous we planned it come here early without telling you both because we know it's the day it's your day off and because we know that you both will wake up late we didn't say anything Prepare some food so that my daughter in law doesn't need to cook. And she woke up because we know she will be tired. He closed his eyes. And then we planned to leave after that. That's why we didn't wait you both. But maybe your wife sure does. And she calmed down. Told us to stay longer and have breakfast together. She prepared a dinner table and just told us to wait in the living room bed. I heard she yelled at her, so we immediately come here because we thought that you met at her and you both fall. But instead, we saw something else. He still didn't dare to look at his parents. Sorry. I just... Actually... He's there. Got it in off. I just go back home, honey. I guess. Shouldn't have come at this time in the first place. I'm not a slip there in this naughty song. For a few seconds. And turn around to leave without saying anything to him again. After he heard the main door closed, he breathed a sigh of relief. That was embarrassing. He didn't remember his wife and smell it. My wife, you must be so embarrassed to look so bad for so long. Hello, I didn't walk upstairs to meet her. He opened the door slowly and found her covering her body and head with a blanket. He chuckled a little and walked to the bed and sat on it. He knows, he knows he's in the room. Don't worry, he left already. He stayed without opening the blanket. Oh, a hole in my face the next time. She sobbed gently and wiggly in her legs. Don't worry, I don't want to face them anytime soon, neither. Hello. Come out of the blanket and sit up, facing him. It's your fault. How come you did not to come when you come down? He didn't even let me speak. I was about to tell you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was so mad that you leave me alone when I woke up. And I still kind of sleepy. Maybe it was why I didn't know to stand the living room. He's still pausing. It was so embarrassing. 
and you didn't even bother with the girl you saved. He laughed with forgiveness, and he came close to him. They already saw us, so I just continued what we were doing. Sorry. And no lighting like her eyes widened. There's a lot of pushing. He caught her hand and he spurred in her ear. Remember, don't need any shoes.